Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes when you're editing a picture, you want to be able to play around with the uh, midtones uh, and without um, affecting the other parts of the picture, the darks and the lights. So this has got a lot of lights up here in the clouds, for example, all along the beach, and these various dark patches throughout this. So what you might do, you might put on a say a curves layer like this and you know play with this but as you see once you get you know turn up the lightness here then the beach is getting really whacked out there and but if you pull this down then the the dark areas are going a bit too dark so we want to do something about this so what we might typically do is go along to this little cogwheel in the corner the blend ranges you can also use the one up there and say for this you know do you use the left or right graph play with it find out so this I might say, I'm going to put a point up there, so I pull this down here. This is only applying to the mid-ranges here. And I'll do it to this graph too, just so whatever happens, it's going to happen through one graph or the other. So now if I turn this up or down, I've got a control now where I'm keeping this working. However, the part of it, a dilemma with this, is you can't really see what's in and what's out of the what's being controlled. So I'm going to try a different method as well. This is just an alternative that you can use. So uh, I'm going to take the layer here and hit Control J to duplicate it. And then I'm going to turn the bottom layer off because I'm going to go to the blend ranges for this top layer here. And I'm going to use the blend ranges there. Now because this is very much on this layer here, I only need the left graph. But what I'm going to do here and say this is what I'm going to keep. Right, so in other words, I pull this down here I'm keeping the bits which are high here. And so if I want to keep the clouds, I might bring up a bit here on that and a bit up here. I can even go to check off the linear so I get more of a smooth curve. I can see here how much of the clouds are being held in. So I, I've got a, a clear edit on this. Another thing you can do to make this even clearer still is click on the bottom layer, go up to layer and new fill layer. And this puts a layer in between, so instead of going and seeing the checkerboard, you're seeing this colour. But I can now change this colour and putting something that's I'm going to be obvious. Magenta is a good one. Now it's very, very clear. So if I go back up to this layer now, now when I'm moving this, I can see very clearly what the top layer is preserving and what the bottom, because I'm going to edit the bottom layer in a minute, and what not. So I can then really play around with this more carefully. I can see if I want to get the clouds preserved then maybe I can go up over there a bit. So it's, it, it gives you that much more visible control. And so now if I put look at the bottom layer, I can turn this on. And I can turn off the magenta layer, which I can always turn on again to have another look. And I uh, don't need the blend rages for this because I'm just going to use curves here. Now if I move the curves here, I'm controlling that again. And I can always go back and tweak things. So if I if I pull this down a bit, you see the trees here are looking a bit funny there. So I can now go back up to here and go to the blend ranges for that and say, let's check a bit where this is. Maybe I need to let that back up again and you know do something else. So you this just gives you a little bit more control when you are trying to have two layers effectively, like I'm gonna can edit this part but not the other part based on as this is luminosity because these remember blend ranges up and down is is transparency the bottom is totally transparent the top is you can fully see it and it goes from dark to light along the bottom like in the curves okay that's it and thank you very much for watching